The owner of a longtime downtown bar is calling it quits after a history of issues at that location. Tiki Bob's is now closed for good. Just last week, Fox 59 investigates reported on a pattern of violence at Tiki Bob's and two other bars. And tonight, police say the shutdown of Tiki Bob's should serve as a warning to others in Indianapolis. Tiki Bob's liquor license was recently at risk because of past violations like serving underage customers and because of the violence that police say was associated with the location. Just this weekend, two teenagers left the bar and were later arrested for firing a gun outside behind the bar. The bar's owner, Jason Stilemma, was due to come up before local authorities again next month to renew his license. Instead, last night he posted a social media message that read, Sadly, I no longer have the desire to be deemed responsible for the abhorrent behavior of a minute segment of our society. I refuse to be the scapegoat, he said, for the violent crime plaguing the beautiful city of Indianapolis any longer. I believe the message that it sends is that we're making progress. Downtown has always been a safe place to go, but it's improving, and we're doing everything in our part to ensure that improvements continue, that it's a safe place for people to come down and enjoy their time in, in downtown Indianapolis. Tiki Bob's closure comes just a few months after another troubled bar, Taps and Dolls, cleared out too. Well, Fox 59 investigation into bars in Indianapolis showed several of these businesses continue operating despite a history of violent crime. Our reporting alongside the Indy Star found serious discrepancies between how the state's Alcohol and Tobacco Commission claims it handles problems at bars and the way it actually enforces its own policies. Now Fox 59's Courtney Crown is asking state leaders what solutions are possible. Tonight, state lawmakers are elaborating on what they can do to make the handful of problem bars in Marion County safer for the community. I think that they've got the attention of everybody in this. State Senator Ron Alting says a Fox 59 and Indy Star investigation into the efforts at varying levels to curtail violent crime in Indianapolis bars is being discussed among lawmakers and agencies. Alting says the Alcohol and Tobacco Commission is too underfunded and understaffed to handle enforcing the alcohol laws. I think you'll see in the budget some extra money that will bump them up. Currently it's a long process to remove a bar's license to operate. Alting says he's looking into ways to make the process faster. When the ATC sends in the papers of an infraction that they have caused, immediately they get their attorney to file the papers and that delays it and they can still keep open by law why they're, they're going through the process. IMPD Captain Christopher Boomershein, who leads the unit patrolling bars, says current state law prevents police from holding owners accountable outside of alcohol violations. We can't charge a premises for being a nuisance bar under that statute if most of its violations are or acts of violence. Boomer shines encouraged to see the state's interest in addressing troubled bars. He hasn't heard from the ATC yet, nor Alting, but hopes to collaborate soon. We would like to see laws that, that allow an earlier intervention. Alting says any changes to the ATC policies will come from the agency and the governor's office. The governor says he is not going to quote roadblock local communities helping themselves. Courtney Crown, Fox 59 News. Courtney, thank you. You can see our original investigation now at fox59.com. We focus on Tiki Bob's as well as two other bars that kept their licenses despite a pattern of violence.